Finally, after eating himself out of Houston, we finally see a rumor that came out true. We finally see James Harden going to the Brooklyn Nets. Let me repeat it again. James Harden is finally a Brooklyn Net. Oh, my goodness gracious. You all seeing Thunder 2.0 without Westbrook. They replaced it with Kyrie Oven. Um, if you haven't checked out my previous content of what I thought about uh, the rumor about them going to the Nets and how they're going to be as a team, um, I'm going to put it in this video and be up top. Uh, please check it out. So this team now, I, I just don't. I just don't really see them, you know, having that type of chemistry because you brought in a guy that is ball dominant too as well and will get a lot of points offensively and can play offense, can drop 40 any day of the week. And then you have KD who can drop 30 in his sleep. And then you got Kyrie who can uh, play basketball too as well, but he's been hanging out so much in the nail salon that he doesn't feel like playing. So they have to get him out of the nail salon to finally go ahead and show up for work since they finally got something here. Um, the only thing I said that was a negative um, in my previous video is that I would hate for them to break up the young core. See, they just uh, they uh, traded uh, Jared Allen, which I thought that was kind of sad because I thought he was giving Brooklyn kind of like momentum um, defensively, um, just being a shot blocker that he is and being a presence on the defensive floor. Um, so it was kind of sad to see. And then losing LaVert too as well, which kind of hurts because that's another good potential score that could uh, go and uh, score that basketball in that second unit. So, you know, they still got Joe Harris, um, who is a flat-out shooter. They still got DeAndre Jordan, but that's the only big they got. Um, but, you know, the problem with Jordan is is that he gets in foul trouble a lot. So who's going to be the next big guy that's going to play, you know? Is it going to be Durant? Durant has to play center. That's the thing about the Nets is, like, they are lacking in the center size. So... So it's going to be interesting how they're going to play against big teams like the Lakers, you know, with, you know, Anthony Davis and uh, Montrezl Harrell and all of them. And then also with uh, playing with the uh, Dallas Mavericks with them big guys. And so, so it'd be really interesting. So they're just lacking in size, but they have a lot of firepower offensively. Um, Everybody got them predicting to go to the Eastern Conference Finals before Harden arrived with James Harden arriving there. Um they probably could still make the Easter Conference Finals, maybe the Finals. It just depends. We would love to see the Nets and the Lakers in the Finals. That's our dream matchup to see KD go against LeBron again. Um, everybody's been saying that they're going to be like the Golden State Warriors, which is false because you, Steph and Clay were unselfish players, and you got two really, un, two really selfish players, um, and then you have KD. So it's. I don't know how that chemistry is going to work out. I hope it works out. Hopefully, James Harden comes in with a new mindset and loses all that weight and go ahead and just flat out hoop since he's finally reunited with his um, former teammate, KD. So, it's going to be interesting. And it'd be interesting for Steve Nash to see how he can manage the egos, too, as well. It's great because Mike D'Antoni's there and he can tell him advice about what James do, what James likes to do in his offensive system since James is reunited with uh, Mike D'Antoni as well. So that's going to be interesting how the Brooklyn Nets is um, going to play play this out the rest of the season and everything. If everything goes smoothly, if COVID and all that doesn't stop it. So, so it's going to be really interesting. Um, I just don't really like it, though, as much, you know, as I did a couple months ago, just because of the Kyrie Oven situation. If you haven't checked out my video of Kyrie Oven today, please check it out. I will put it in this video, too, as well. So we don't even know if he's going to be coming back or not. Hopefully he comes back. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I, I just hate I just hate they just broke up that young core. That young core was doing so good. I just hate it so much. I just really hate it so much. But um it is what it is, though. So, um, you know, like I said, James Harden got what he wants. Um, hopefully, Kyrie might be traded later on, but they probably won't do it as well. So tell me your thoughts down below. What do you think about this trade? How far you think the next would go with James Harden? What do you think about the team aspect, the chemistry they have, and the whole roster of that team? Are they lacking size? 
tell me your thoughts down below um, what you think about this trade. Uh, make sure you follow my social media. It's just JP with a Z on Facebook, Instagram, and JP Franchise 57 on my Twitter. Also, subscribe, 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 subscribe to my channel for more content. And click that notification bell. You will get more uploads and you will know when my next upload is. If you like this video, press that like button and we'll see how the next will go. I'm excited, but at the same time, not so excited. So, and hopefully Kawi will get out of the nail salon and, at, um, and from the beach and finally show up to work. We are out of here. Peace.